Hi everyone, this is Cass from Cass's Creations and Boom Gel Stain. Um, what I'm going to do is a couple of Kmart boards, chopping boards. So basically I've got my cup ready. Can you see that? Oh. And in here I've put my sterling white wax, my parrotfish green, my kookaburra brown and some native violet purple. Um, I'm going to give that a good mix because I actually want the colours um, quite blended before I pour them onto the board. I haven't done anything. I've bought these brand new from Kmart um, and they were a great price too. I can't remember exactly now. Um, and I'll do a second video soon of a canvas using the same colours as this is going to be like a gift set for Christmas. Um, and at the very end of the pour, I'll add just a little bit of gold. Our um, metallic gold um, boom gel stain is beautiful however the pigments are quite heavy so I always recommend that if you want to use this in a pour situation to actually do your pour and then pop the gold on top and I will show you how to do that um, okay so I've got my colors I haven't prepped these boards at all I have literally bought them brand new made sure they're dusted off and I'm just going to go for it I will seal these with a food safe resin um, probably in about a week's time and my mum's um, loves cheese and wine and stuff so she's going to think these are fantastic okay so I just want to make sure I've given it a good mix so I've really mixed this in this cup here now let's see how this goes oh, I thought I'd um, actually not done enough but now I'm thinking holy dooly I need a whole lot more let's see no it should be fine just need a bit more here so um, obviously I'm going to just tilt these just slightly but I would have liked to have kept the lines going to be honest we'll see how we go I'll start with this one first just because this is going to be a bit easier and then if there's any runoff so you'll see I haven't taped underneath my board and that is purely because this is so easy once it's dried on there I'll just use a damp cloth to wipe it off underneath and it won't be an issue at all so I've just got to get it down a little bit these um, chopping boards have got little leather ties and everything they're just so cool Okay, that's, I love it when things just don't, don't go according to plan, you know, wonderful. So that's nowhere near enough. I'm going to try and, I'll actually tilt this. The beauty of doing pours, um, oh, that went right over. Because I've got another item here, I can just use my runoff to go onto the other board so that's good which is lucky because I really would have liked some more excess so that I could make this a faster process so I'm really sorry about this guys hope this video isn't too boring so so far this is going like nothing that I'd planned isn't that great <laughs> Okay. All right. Oh, and I'm working outside and we've actually got really nice weather. And normally this just flows nice and fast. But I think um, because it is still quite warm, it's slowing everything down, even my brain. I might have to just get you to focus in on that and I might have to blow a little bit because <clears throat> you're only allowed to see my hands see so my son will zoom in on that while I blow the other piece oh look at that <laughs> while I was blowing show them 
I've blown, I've let my runoffs go all over the place, even in my hair. That's why you don't see my face or my hair. Okay, I'm going to blow again, so don't zoom in on me. Oh, couldn't you just... Seriously? Okay, now I'm going to swap again and see if I can get some runoff going on to this one. Oh, this is going to be the most boring video ever. Okay, I'm just going to put that back. I'm going to wipe this off and actually get my edge going here. Okay, so that one's completely covered now. I'm happy with that. I'll just get it running some more to the edges. So like I was saying, underneath all these runs, once that's dry, I'll just get a damp cloth and take that off. It's not a big deal at all. I'm just going to tilt this because I don't like those little swirly bits. I'd rather lines. I just feel like this should be um, more patterned as far as, I mean, more like vertical and horizontal lines, not swirls. All I've used here is just the um, masking tape, but I did do it two layers thick. This part here, I'll just literally wipe that off, but once it dries, I'll just get a damp cloth and take it off. It's not a big deal at all. So I'm happy with that runoff there now, so I'll hold it over the other way. And I'll see how this goes. So, do you know what? I wanted more of those rich colours. Now, I was going to add some gold. I'll do that now. And see if that changes things up a bit. I'm kind of guessing where all the gaps are now. <coughs> okay. So, this gold will not stay like that, I assure you. It will change this will actually um, drop down quite a bit so what I will do is I'll actually take a short video of it tomorrow to show you the finished result so I'll leave that one there I'm just going to tilt this one So all I'm doing now is just tilting, just to get some more movement in it. And you can see, if you zoom in on the gold, it's starting to feather and it just has like almost a lacing effect. And on there, I love purple and gold together. It just looks so good. And the greens. Okay. So all I'm doing here is just touching up the edge, just to make sure. Once I do that, it just encourages flow down to the edges. And like I said, I'm not particularly concerned about how it runs off underneath, because I'll clean that up. I've got to wipe this up now, because I thinned that out. I should have just left it like that and it would have wiped off a lot easier. Once these are dried, I'll still leave it for about a week, and then I'll seal with a um, food safe resin, and I will show you that in a short video um, once it's done, the completed results. All right. Bye, everyone.